Hey everyone, it's Eddie from the Graphio Coaching team and I want to talk to you about Apollo Client Generated Hooks. It's time to let it go. And I know it's not easy, so in this video we will talk about why we need to migrate off it and showcase a very special code mod that we have specifically created to migrate to client presets. Trust me, it's a lot easier than it sounds. So, why should we move away from generated hooks? Apollo Client V4 is coming and it got supercharged with typings and generics. For example, use suspense query has a return partial data boolean. If the boolean is false, then data state can only be complete or streaming. However, when we turn it to true, data state can be complete, streaming, or partial. This typing will be lost if we use generated hooks. Therefore, it's better to use the base hook directly. Here's the example, but with generated hooks. We can see that when return partial data is false, the data set is empty, complete, or streaming, which is wrong. And when we turn it to true, it is still empty, complete, and streaming. So by using generated hooks, we are getting the wrong type, which is bad and may lead into runtime errors. On top of that, generated hooks are bad for your bundle size. Given a very simple query like this, it will generate four wrapper functions even if you don't use any of it. In a big code base with tens or hundreds of queries, you can imagine how bad it is. This is where client preset really shines as it uses the base Apollo hooks to take full advantage of the type hints. And no wrappers mean smaller bundle size, which is better for our app. Here's an example of client preset where we import the GraphQL tag generated by client preset itself. Then we write GraphQL operation in the same file as the component. And then we put into the base use query and it works both typing and runtime. I'll put a guide to client preset at the end of this video. So check it out. Now, converting generated hooks to client preset for one place is fine, but for a big code base, I'd go crazy if I have to do hundreds of that manually. Don't even ask how I know. This is where code mod comes in. It looks at the legacy hooks and update relevant import automatically for us. Let's see the code mod in action. First, we install the code mod. Then we can just update our code and config. First, command out or remove any existing generates block as it may interfere with the code mod. Secondly, we import the code mod. And then we apply code mod. We can see the config on the screen. And fun fact, it's just a code gen preset. Now we can just run code gen to activate the code mod to migrate the files such as the one on the screen. We can see there's some squiggly red lines in our code, but don't worry, that's only because our client preset is not set up. Let's go back to our code and config. We can now remove the code mod and put in client preset config. We also need to update documents config to point to our components because that is where operations are. Run our code gen again and type error should be gone. And that is it. With just one command, you've migrated from the legacy generated hook to client preset for better typing, less config, and less bundle size bloat. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and leave me comments with your experience using the code mod so I know whether it works for you or not. I put links to client preset and the code mod npm package in the description. And finally, thanks for watching. See you next time.